So it's been a while, partly because I don't know how to talk about happiness. What is there to say? How do you talk about it without making other people feel bad? How do you tread the line between corniness and positivity? Between optimism and realism? Between saying something useful and saying something true. I'm worried of jinxing it. I am not by nature an optimistic person. I'm not by nature an effusive person, someone who tells her friends that she loves them or um, decides not to tweet negative things and only interesting or positive or thought-provoking things. All those behaviors were learned. There's a certain amount of faking it until you make it that by acting happy and doing things that I think will make me happy and coming off that way to other people and being a positive influence in their life, some of that might rub off on the way I treat myself. This is what's been on my mind recently. Uh, books I've read, things that I am doing at work that I can't talk to you about, and uh, my self-loathing and my relationship with that. I don't think I've ever smiled at myself in the mirror. It feels like there's no... that no emotions that aren't constructive are worth feeling. Reading about self-care or deciding to come home after a tiring day of work instead of go to the gym or go out with friends. That never feels okay to me. It always feels like a concession. It always feels like I am weak-willed. And I know intellectually, and I tell my friends, that loving yourself is constructive. No lasting change can come out of a place of fear. But man, self-loathing is such a good motivator. Nothing will get results like self-loathing does. So part of the reason why I haven't made a video in 10 months is because I don't want to have a record of myself as anything less than much better than the last self that I put out there physically. The idea that life and your body and your experiences and your creative output has ups and downs is something that I believe wholeheartedly to be true for everybody except me. So I'm very happy except when I'm not and neither of those states seems like a good place to um, make things from. And I'm trying. I'm trying to read more, to make more, to do more things because I want to and not because I think I should. I'm trying only to look at myself in the mirror when I have a reason to, like putting on makeup or making sure there aren't things in my teeth or checking to see how a shirt fits, not critically eyeing the parts of my body that I think are less than ideal, almost all of it, every time I pass by a mirror. I'm reading very few news websites. I unfollow people on Twitter that I don't want to read on Twitter. I follow blogs on Tumblr filled with people who have bodies that look like mine. And I think small victories like that, small choices like that, small acts of self-respect like that will accumulate. I don't know, that's what I'm doing right now. And that's what this channel has always been, is telling you what I'm thinking about, what I'm doing, sharing things I've learned, and right now I'm in a learning phase, so I don't have much in the way of conclusions to share, but there's beauty in the journey too. Needless to say, I really want to hear what you think um, about any of the topics mentioned, about your own journeys, about what you're learning. You know the drill, and I've missed hearing your voices, even though many of you have left very, very kind comments, tweets, and emails um, in the past few months, so I look forward to it. See you soon.